Do you have to avoid any treats your kids make for you when you're switching to a plant-based diet? Hey, in case you don't know me, my name is Jason Chaney, and I'm one half of a husband and wife team, and we're dedicated to helping you reclaim your physical and financial health, and I specialize on the physical side. So the question I got in for the day is, my kids made me cookies and they contain eggs. You know, how do I say no from eating it, and am I wrong for eating it? And so this is a good question, and you know, it's questions like this is why we developed our 3M approach to transitioning to a plant-based diet. And the reason is, have compassion. Compassion for yourself, compassion for your kids, and compassion for anyone else that may be providing cooking meals for you, anything like that. There's going to be instances where people may accidentally put some uh, animal products in there. It's not going to be the end of the world. And just learn how to pivot from it. So just to give you an example, when we were living in Panama, you know, it was a restaurant that was supposed to have been vegan friendly, um, had a sandwich. And then they came out and said, oh, no, the bread we gave you had eggs in it. It wasn't the end of the world. I just didn't go, I, you know, I just finished my sandwich that I ate and, you know, I gave, forgave myself for it. It wasn't something that you have to get angry about or upset about or feel like you're going to hurt someone's feelings. So with the kids, like one of the things that, that you can do, and it's great that they're trying to make tricks for you, you know, do some self-education, watch a documentary, watch some vegan uh, cooking, uh, cooking shows and try to make vegan cookies together so that way they can start figuring out how to make those things and then you don't have to worry about if it's eggs in it or not. Also, you can have egg, egg replacement objects in your home such as chia seeds, flax seeds, you can use applesauce and you can also use uh, mashed bana overripe bananas also. So just have those things readily available and that'll be good for you and so I hope that helped you and if you're transitioning and you're having problems like this be sure to click the link above and check out our master class, the 3M approach to transition to a plant-based diet, and see you tomorrow. Ciao.